Well, it's always been, uh, the big breakthroughs in transportation has always been propulsion. You know, however you're going to, uh, how you're going to get the vehicle going. You know, it's from the, from, uh, the ground transportation side, you know, horse and buggies gave way to uh, steam engines and locomotives to uh, the first practical small gasoline engine and the cars, you know, first cars. Uh, steamships, you know, sailing ships gave way to steamships, gave way to diesel and nuclear powered vessels. The, uh, the airplane started out as these you know, tiny little engines turning propellers to uh, turboprops and modern propeller airplanes to the jet engine, advent of the jet engine, turbojets, and then to turbofans, which were efficient enough to allow um, you know, the air transportation system as it is today to develop. Same as rockets. Rockets have, have remained fundamentally unchanged, except for a few exceptions, uh, for the last almost 50 years. And so uh, for there to be a fundamental shift in, in rocketry and in getting into space, there almost has to be a breakthrough in propulsion, either in how to bring the price down or how to more efficiently get people up into space. And that's, as we talked about earlier, uh, the key barrier is the expense of a rocket. It's a matter of getting enough energy to get off of the planet and into low Earth orbit. You know, it takes, takes a fixed amount of energy to do that uh, per mass of payload. And so that part is, is fixed. But how you do that, how you get the energy, how do you extract it from the chemical propulsion you're using, or if you're coming up with a whole new way of doing it. Um, you know, the neatest thing about research and science is that we don't necessarily know what's going to come down the pike. You know, we think we know what we're working on. Oftentimes, discoveries are made uh, when you're trying to discover something else. You know, you end up accidentally discovering a different thing. And so, one of those things might happen that enable us to have more efficient rockets. I, I, it's hard for me to, to kind of guess what that might be.